Friends, today I want to share with you about a testimony from Iran. This testimony is about a 23-year-old guy named Amir. Amir said in his testimony that he grew up in a very religious family. Dad was one of the religious leaders in their community, and because of his position, um, he had to put on a persona and pretend to be this religious kid. He said the incongruence that he, he had between who he wanted to be and who he was always pretending to be had turned him into a very sour and angry person. He said he always wanted to own a, um, a satellite TV in their home. He wanted to um, really see what it feels like, what it looks like to be in touch with the outside world through satellite TV. But his family always thought satellite TV is taboo. He said that um, he um, used to go to a store that his dad owned in the central uh, market of the city that they live in, in Tehran, in Iran. And he said one day as he was at work, um, it dawned on him that he could buy a satellite dish and install it in the back of the store, um, in one of the storage units. He said unbeknownst to his dad, in secret, he bought himself a satellite TV and installed it in the back of the store. He said um, at night uh, when his dad would go home, he would stay longer at the store and go in the back of the store and watch TV. One day, as he was flipping through the channels, he um, had come across Network 7, Iran Alive Ministries channel in Iran. He said one phrase on our program caught his attention, and that was, God is love. He said because of that phrase, he kept on watching our program. He um, wanted to know what we meant by saying that. Um, he said day and night he would watch our program, he would, he would follow us on social media in, in search for his answers. He said he called our counselors, he asked so many questions about Christianity and who Christ is. And um, one day he um, decided to put his, his faith in Jesus Christ and he became a believer. He prayed uh, uh, the prayer of salvation with one of the counselors and he became a believer. He said he was overjoyed. He, um, he was um, um, watching our, our program one day, and um, his dad had um, really caught him watch Christian channel, and he said he started beating him, he started insulting him, he started um, um, really destroying the satellite dish to pieces in front of him. Emir says, Normally, he would get upset at his dad. He would raise his voice on him, but not this time. He said, this time, I even bowed down and kissed my dad's hand. And he said, I apologized to my dad for the mistake that I had made um, for, for really buying a satellite dish without asking for his permission and watching a Christian program. He said, months had gone by, um, but my friends and family had noticed the, uh, the change in my behavior. The, uh, the anger has been subsided, and, and my peace has been even, uh, ever more. He said he never felt such peace in his life, and he couldn't explain what it was, but only knowing that it was through the Holy Spirit in his words. He said, um, he said that one day as he was at work, that same spot that his dad destroyed that satellite TV, his dad pulled him to, to the back of the store and he handed, uh, handed over to him a remote control of a new satellite TV that he had bought him. He said um, his dad told him to flip the channel to the same channel that caused such drastic change in you. He said his dad told him, ever since I caught you watch Christian TV, I noticed the changes in you. And I have been researching about Christianity and who Christ is. And I had bought himself a, a, a Bible and has been reading the Bible. He said, let's watch these Christian TV together. Let's watch these channels together. He said he would, he, um, they would watch the uh, Christian channel together at night for months on end. And he, his dad, just like him, had a lot of questions. They reached out to our counselors, answered all of his questions, and he too became a believer. At the end of his testimony, Emir says, Glory be to the God that was able to turn my anger to peace and to turn my pride to compassion. Friends, testimonies like this are so encouraging to us. And I know it is encouraging to you because you, you also see the fruit of your partnership with us. Friends, I believe that together 
we will see Iran transformed into a Christian nation, one soul at a time.